Yeah. What did you make of uh, Fond uh, 100 at NCAAs? Uh, that was huge. Um, I've been watching them all season, um, especially as a dog in Boulder. You know, I'm always paying attention to them. And, um, so, uh, that, was, that was pretty big. Right, so we spoke a little bit about it yesterday, but talk to me about um, you transitioning into coaching right at Kentucky and some of your plans with coaching moving forward. Uh, so I don't know, I haven't really gave too much thought about like going and, and being like a track and field coach. Um, I feel like I'm still learning myself. Like everything I know about sprinting, I've learned from my coach. He's a sprint coach at, at Kentucky right now. Um, so I just follow his guidance. And I'm a volunteer coach there, so I'm able to you know, travel with the team and still keep my training going and be with my coach. Um, so I feel like you know, just being in that environment and having some of the guys you know, tell me you know, that they look up to me and stuff, it means a lot. And um, you know, I haven't really gave too much thought into like, you know, what my plans would be like post running. I feel like all my energy right now is just being on, on competing. But um, a speed training thing, I feel like I get requests all the time, you know, to just help people out just with speed training in general, not just track. So I feel like, you know, maybe that might be in my future. Nice. And can you tell me about some of your role models um, who you looked up to get into the sport, either in track or even outside of the sport? Uh, shoot, I mean, outside of the sport, I feel like growing up in Atlanta, I mean, guys that I looked up, looked up to, you know, guys like Michael Vick, Ward Gunn, Deion Sanders, somebody you always want to model your, like, your lifestyle and, like, competitive spirit after. Um, but, I mean, I've told the story before. I'm going to be eight years old watching Justin Gatlin win the Olympics. In, um, in Athens in 2004. Um, so guys like, you know, Gatlin, Maurice Green, of course, everybody look up to the, you know, the big man look up to both. Um, so yeah, I would, I would have to say probably Gatlin and Maurice Green were guys that I, you know, really wanted to emulate when I was, you know, coming up running. All right, so then last question. You, of course, do the 100 and you dabble in the 200, but if you could do any other event that's not your primary event, you've never run it before, could be on a track, could be on a field, what would you jump into? Um, that's tough, man, because I like I like the short sprints, you know, because it's over like that. Like, <laughs> no, no fun like in a long jump or pole vault or something. I like did that. I did long jump in high school. Honestly, when I when I got recruited to Tennessee, that's what I that was my main event. Like I was a long jumper, and so I was pretty good in that. So um, in the alternate universe, you know, maybe long jump would be like my specialty event. But like I love the sprints. I feel like it's the premier event in track and field. So I'm gonna just stay there. The other events from 400 and up. A little bit too hard for me. <laughs> nice. Thanks so much, Christian. Appreciate it.